بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم پروفیسر حسن اینڈ یو آر واچنگ مائی چینل پروفیسر حسن ہمائیوں ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس ٹوڈے آئی ول کور دا ٹاپک آف نان پیرامیٹرک ٹیسٹس اینڈ وی ول ڈسکس ویری امپورٹنٹ کانسیپچوئل کوشچنز فار ایوری ریٹرن ٹیسٹ آف اسٹیٹسٹکس بفور اسٹارٹنگ ٹو ڈیز وائٹل لیکچر آئی ریکویسٹ ایوری ون ڈونٹ مس اے سنگل ایم سی کیو بیکاز ایوری ایم سی کیو کین بی دا پارٹ آف دا ریٹرن ٹیسٹ لیٹ اسٹارٹ نان پیرامیٹرک ٹیسٹس فرسٹ آف آل آئی ول ٹیل یو سم امپورٹنٹ تھنگس اباؤٹ دس مچ دے آر ڈسٹریبیوشن فری نان پیرامیٹرک ٹیسٹ آر آلسو کالڈ ڈسٹریبیوشن فری ٹیسٹس دے ڈو ناٹ ہیو دا کنڈیشن آف نارملٹی دے آر یوزڈ فار دا آرڈینل ڈیٹا فار دا رینکڈ ڈیٹا دے آر یوزڈ فار دا اسمال سیمپلز When the sample size is less than 20, we use non-parametric tests and non-parametric tests are less efficient as compared to the parametric tests and why they are less efficient because they do not use the, all the information contained in the sample as the parametric tests and in non-parametric tests we will discuss many more important questions. فسٹ آف آل دا سائن ٹیسٹ سائن ٹیسٹ از دا سمپلسٹ ون اٹ از دا سمپلسٹ ٹیسٹ ایز ویل ایز دا اولڈیسٹ ون وٹ ڈو وی ڈو ایکچولی وی میک دا ہائپوتھس ان سائن ٹیسٹ میڈین از ایکول ٹو سم اسپیسیفائڈ ویلیو ایچ ون میڈین از ناٹ ایکول ٹو سم اسپیسیفائڈ ویلیو وی ڈو دا ٹیسٹنگ آف دا لوکیشن پیرامیٹر a very important one for example we have some values 11 12 13 14 15 its median is 13 we take the difference of every value with the help of the median for example 11 minus 13 is minus 2 12 minus 13 is minus 1 13 minus 13 is equal to 0 14 minus 13 is plus 1 15 minus 13 is plus 2 we for the minus we allot the sign only <coughs> minus sign minus it is discarded 0 is discarded for the plus 1 we do plus for plus 2 we do plus and for example 16 is another value there is plus sign now what do we do its test statistic is x the less number of signs minus is 2 times plus is 3 times so x will be 2 a very important question we do the testing of median location parameter there is a specific value in sign test the test statistic is x and it contains the less sign the less frequent sign minus is 2 times it will be x and then the distribution of x is always binomial distribution a very important multiple choice question and now in this question for example zero is discarded now what will be n that can also be the question you will have to ignore this much 1 2 3 4 5 n will be equal to 5 and h not can also be probability of plus sign is equal to probability of minus sign is equal to 1 by 2 what did we what did we learn in non parametric test there is not the condition of normality when the sample size is very small less than 20 we use it these are also called distribution free test they are used for the ordinal data for the ranking data and the first one is sign test which is the oldest and the weakest one in that test we take the difference of the values from the median if some value is equal to median we will ignore it we will discard it that is zero and if the difference is plus we will allot plus sign and if the difference is minus we allot minus its test statistic is x x contains less number of frequent signs and if minus is 2 times plus is 5 times x will be equal to 2 its distribution will be binomial and the hypothesis is probability of plus sign equal to probability of minus sign equal to probability equal to 1 by 2 all are important questions next is very very important question sign test becomes the normal distribution or it is approximated normally when n is greater than 10 a very important question mean is np 
एंड सिग्मा इज एन पी क्यू अंडर द रूट वी यूज द नॉर्मल अप्रोक्सीमेशन टू द बाइनोमियल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इन साइंटस वेन एन इज ग्रेटर दैन टेन देन नेक्स्ट वन इज विल कॉक्सन साइंड रैंक टेस्ट डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन साइंटस वी जस्ट टेक द डिफ्रेंसिस इट इज द एडवांस वर्जन एन इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन एडवांस वर्जन of sign test will coxon signed rank test is the advanced version of sign test we take two things differences as well as magnitude and it was discovered by frank will coxon in 1945 and will coxon sign rank test is an alternative to the t test for paired observations a very important question and when its test its test test set is t which is smaller sum of ranks a very important question smaller sum of ranks in sign test as i told you we just take the differences but in wilcoxon signed rank test we take the differences as well as magnitude there are some plus ranks there are some minus ranks if we have the sum of plus ranks it is plus t plus and that is 4 if the sum of t minus it is 3 then that will be the test statistic the smaller sum of ranks and in the exam they can ask like this much t is equal to minimum of t plus t minus a very important question and when n is greater than equal to 25 it is normally approximated and its mu t mean of the wilcoxon sign rank test will be n into l n plus 1 over 4 and sigma of t will be n into n plus 1 to n plus 1 over 24 under the root then the next one is wilcoxon rank sum test number 3 wilcoxon rank sum test its test statistic is r it is used for two independent samples two independent samples or the two samples have different sizes when the first sample for example x its values are 20 40 and 50 and y it has values 10 30 60 70 80 90 in the first one the size is 3 for example in the second one the size is 6 now when there are two samples they are independent they are from the two populations which are non normal and when the sample sizes are not same for the both of the populations then we use wilcoxon rank sum test in which test statistic is r and what is r the sum of the ranks of the smaller sample like the wilcoxon signed rank test r is the sum of ranks of the smaller sample for example there are the values of x and y it has three observations 1 2 3 it has five observations 1 2 3 4 5 these will be ranked over here for example it is r1 and these will also be ranked over here r2 the sum of these will be because it has it is a smaller sample size the sum of these ranks will be the test statistic r a very important question next question is 